Yeladim. Can you guess where I went this week? Hmm. Look at all these apples. I went to the apple orchard and I picked my own apples and they come in all different colors. Some are red and green. Some are mostly red. Some are mostly green. And they're all delicious. And you know, picking and eating all these apples has made me think a lot about making apple art. And I wanted to show you how I could draw an apple. But I had another thought. I thought, what should I use? Should I use a crayon? Should I use a marker? Should I use paint? I don't know. The thing is, all those different kinds of painting and drawing things make different looking pictures. And I wanna show you how those things all look different. Now here's your special word for the day. When you talk about a thing that you use to make art, it's called a medium, a medium. So I'm gonna try out four different media, four different kinds of medium and show you how they all look different to draw an apple. All right, first I think I will start off with a crayon. Everybody has lots of these at home, right? All right, so if I'm gonna draw an apple with a crayon, I'm gonna make something that looks kind of like a circle, maybe with a little dent in the top. And I'm gonna color it in. Color, color, color. Sometimes it takes a long time to color in something with a crayon, doesn't it? Is that okay? Yes, that's okay. We all go out of the line sometimes. No big deal. And I think I'm going to give it a green stem. Boop. And maybe even a green leaf. Boop, boop. And that is my crayon apple. That's a really nice way to make an apple. I think I want to try a different way. I think I'm going to try with markers. Let's see how this looks different from my crayon apple. I'm still using red. Ooh, that looks very different, doesn't it? And I went out of the line again, but that's okay. I'll just fix it. Notice how much different the marker apple looks from the crayon apple? Hmm. I think I'll give this one a stem and a leaf also. Stem and a leaf. Hmm, what do you notice about these two apples? Does this one look a lot darker? There's a lot more color. Here I can see the white paper right through it and it looks kind of bumpy. This one looks a lot smoother and darker. Hmm. Let's try a different medium, should we? Let's try watercolor paints. I love watercolor painting. All you need is water and your colors and a paintbrush. And you take some water, you take some color, and you paint. Water, color, paint. Water, color, paint. Hmm, does this look different from the other two apples? What do you notice? I think I'll give this one a green stem. Water, color, paint. Wow. That's my watercolor paint apple. Does that look different from the other two? It looks sort of washed out, almost wet, watery. It's not quite as dark as the marker. Hmm. Should we try one more medium? One more medium. I'm going to try regular paint. This is the kind of paint you might have at school or at home. 
This is a different kind of paint from watercolor paint. I'm going to take some red and I'm going to make my apple. Ooh, that's a fat apple. And paint that in. Hmm. This looks different from the watercolor paint, doesn't it? It's much thicker. The color is much brighter. Hmm. And let me get some water and wash off all my red paint. Oh my goodness, look what happened to my water. It turned pink from all that red paint. And I'm going to get a little green and I'm going to do a stem and a leaf. Oh, here we go. Now I have four different apples and I used a different medium for each apple. You remember what I used? Crayon, marker, watercolor paint, regular paint. This is something that you could try at home too. You can try using different media to paint a picture or color a picture or to make all kinds of art. So this is something fun to do at home. And now I'm going to clean up all my paints and I'm going to eat an apple because I'm hungry. See you next time. Bye friends.